Hey everybody, it's James, your favorite local realtor. Uh, thanks for joining me today with Things to Do with James and Blue. Today we're going to talk about Gilbert Run Park. Been living here my entire life, which is approaching 40 years, something like that. We can round down. Uh, anyways, I had no idea. It was called Wheatley Lake. Uh, so I went ahead and did some research as well as took my boy Blue out there so we could get some video and some footage for you. So that way you can check the video out and have a good idea what you can do before you get there. So take a look and let me know what you think. One of the first things you're going to notice when you get there is the big old lake, as we just talked about. This is Wheatley Lake. My co-stars, Jaden and Kaylee, helping me out with the dog while you try to film. Not the easiest thing to do. If you come on a nice day, April 1st through September 30th, they do have rentals available, such as paddle boats and canoes. There is also a boat ramp so you can bring your own boat, uh, paddle boards, kayaks. However, it has to be electric motors. No jet skis, so don't be disappointed if you can't come tear it up. There's plenty of parking in different areas, but if you drive all the way to the end, this is where you will arrive. You just saw the beginning of the trail, which is my favorite thing to do here is hike. Or Blue, Jaden, and Kaylee, they just like to throw rocks at each other, whatever you prefer. The trail around the lake, a complete circle, is 2.1 miles. Skill level, I'd put it 3 out of a 10. Most of it is flat and pretty easy, but there are a couple of hills. Uh, it gets a little tricky. Best of all, plenty of sticks for Blue. Loves to play with some sticks. Different surfaces you'll find. You'll see the boardwalks. You'll see a lot of flat dirt land. You'll also see some gravel and some pretty, pretty scenery. One of the cooler things about the trail is halfway through, you're gonna find the Beaver Observatory. Sadly, when we got there, a lot of it had been wiped out by the flooding. But don't worry too much, I'm sure by spring of 2022, they'll have it repaired and you can make the complete lap. There's a large playground with other playground areas, plenty of pavilions to hang out and relax in the sun, cornhole, monkey bars, whatever torture device that is. Of course swings, you gotta swing. And the lake is stocked with bass, bluegill, trout, and catfish. That is one ugly fish. And that concludes today's video. I really appreciate everyone joining me today of things to do with James and Blue. I'm always happy to help if I didn't cover anything, or if you have more questions, feel free to give me a call or shoot me an email, text, whatever you prefer. Easy to find. My information's down below. Uh, once again, this is James R. Mel with Montague Properties and EXP Realty. Always helping out the Southern Maryland area in any way I can, so feel free to contact me. And I'd like to see you guys next week, so stay tuned. we got another part coming.